Welcome back, guys. Gwen for the win here. I'm Gwen. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. As you saw from the last episode, we didn't do so well. Didn't do so well. We lost. So we're back here at the start. I've done my research. I've practiced. I've done some things. And we're going to do a little bit better this time. Alright? I promise. We're going to last through for the next day. Yeah, at least. Take things a little slow. Grab this because I know I'm going to need it. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and read this. You know, last night I didn't do it. We just rushed because, you know, I didn't understand a few things. Now I do. So I'm going to take my time here. Hello and welcome. I am Impa. Or to be more precise, intelligent, multi-purpose assistant. I'm here to aid you. And guide you. In surviving on this hot, dusty planet. The good news is that you seem to have survived the crash landing just fine. The bad news is that the shuttle most definitely did not. You are stuck here for the foreseeable future. Speaking of which, you might want to get started setting up camp. Gather what supplies are left in the wreck and see what about finding water. It's mighty dry out here. That's the intro. By yours truly. And I'm sweating. So we need to get busy on some of these quests here. Gotta open it. And we'll do that later. Alright. Well, this is a mess. Grab what you can from the wreck and watch out from that detached engine. The core has been breached and fuel is leaking. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're going to go ahead and grab these. Alright. They registered it, detected it. Claim reward. Alright, see, this is what I didn't know last time. Bam. 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 I didn't know how to fill this thing up. Now I do. That's cold water. We want to keep the cold water. Bam. Fill. Put that on there. It's going to keep us hydrated. It's going to keep us cooled off. It's awesome. We can go ahead and throw that down. Put that right there. Because I know we're going to have to do some other stuff. Next quest. All right. Well, we'll actually... Creating dirt. We'll do that later. We'll do this one after this one. So last time we did the hard route, which is just a piece of dust, and it gave you just these rewards. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go the easy route. It's still hard, but uh, you know, I'd rather this. I'd rather this one first. If we do well, then we can go the harder winning. But I, I don't think we're going to do well. So we're going to do this. Go get a piece of dust real quick. Bam. Manual submit. Alright, we got a bunch of goodies. I don't know what that is for yet. But we'll find out. Let's, um... Put the PBJs up. We don't really need those right now. Um... We need another piece of dust here for this, and you were going to manual submit that. Bam! Now we got a piece of dirt. Now with this piece of dirt, we're going to start drinking mud. Oh, that was almost bad. Wrong key. Dirty water bottle. Piece of dirt, empty glass bottle, we get dirty water. And it's going to transform into a good water bottle. And another piece of dirt, which is awesome. Because we need as much dirt as possible. Okay, so we need to get a couple saplings going. First off, we need to survive the night. So, I learned this a little bit farther. I watched uh, an older video. This is way before it, like you you could see it on the the feed the beast launcher. It's kind of like on a beta test, you could say, because it didn't have all the quests that are added. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be even more while we're playing get updated. So 
This could be a pretty good series, in my opinion. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. And we'll grow one more out. Now, I bet you're wondering, why am I doing this? Well, don't know, really. Just It just seems smart. Uh, other information about this map. It will never rain. So, if you guys played Agrarian Skies, you know how you get water from uh, it raining and putting it in barrels. It doesn't do that in this one. You get water strictly from uh, the fluid transposers and saplings. Strictly. So that makes this a little bit more difficult. It's more reliable on saplings. Uh, saplings are very useful in this one, so you want to make sure you do that. Alright, so I'm creating a moat so mobs cannot get to us. Easily, at least. And then when daytime rises, uh, we can go and collect all our goodies. So that means we gotta get torches fast. This is a, this mode isn't my deal. Like I said, I watched it from another thing, so another video, aka research. Wink, wink. But as you see, the camel pack it lasts longer than just drinking the water, and it keeps you cooled off a lot better than what I was doing. So now you guys know. Use the camel pack. Yeah, almost finished here. I think we might actually have to go another round, to be completely honest. Which I don't really mind. I'll just do another round real quick. Because this is going to give us a whole bunch of dust to uh, sift down to during the night as well, so. It'll help us out. In the long run. At least I think so. If I could uh, turn that down, yeah, I got sound and music all the way up, so turn that down a bit. Good old Minecraft music just never ends. Is it okay? It's like still daytime. I gotta make sure this is done before it gets night, otherwise, it's pointless. Almost finished here. Yeah, see, our goal is not to die because you know it is hardcore mode, and as you saw from last level, the world will get destroyed. And I'm thinking a maximum of three times for this map. I'm not going to redo it, and it depends on how far we get this time. Because I don't want to bore you guys doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, let's grab one of these dust right here. There you go. See, now I got a moat. We can go ahead and clear out this area here. Actually, it's getting nighttime. Put this dirt. Uh, sapling, bam, 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 grab a piece of wood, uh, where's my thing, here we go, make sure we have the crafting 
station here. We need to get a crook or two. We'll get one for right now. We're looking for a silkworm and saplings. Okay, I was getting worried there. I was like, we weren't getting any saplings. Get night out. See, there they come. They're gonna jump, fall right in. The only people who can get us are spiders. That's just they notice us. So we gotta worry about spiders. Besides that, there's nothing else. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this and uh, board us up right in here for right now. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna need uh, to make a chest. Some of this here, and the rest of it, we'll use you know to board ourselves up, like last time. Oh, there it is. It's like where's my where's my wood? There we go. Alright, cool. So now that that's happened, we need to go ahead and sift. Or sieve. Sift. I, I like sifting better. And we'll eat uh, PB&J while we're at it. And some beef jerky. What's our next quest, anyways? Um, desperate times. We need salt, and we need some bones. So, let's go ahead, put the sieve down. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to sieve a whole bunch of crap. There's a whole bunch of this dust here. Hopefully we'll get a bunch load of stone, so by the time morning comes up, we'll have enough to get a, a slab furnace. Which is made out of half slabs. So instead of using eight cobblestone, it only takes six. Which, as of right now, resources are very slim. Oh, by the way, if you push U, I'm pretty sure. How do you, how do, you do it? Is it U on that? Yeah, if you push U on that, you sees everything you can get it from the sieve. And it tells you the drop chance. You have a 1% chance for an egg, 1% chance of fish. If you remember last time, we got fish all the time. We barely got any stone. That's a 20% chance. So we might be just really lucky or something. I don't know. So, push U on it. You can tell, you can see what chances you get from what. Yeah. The reason I'm giving this. Well, you know what? New settings. Might help you guys out here. We don't need a bobbing on either. There we go. Have you guys out here at the brightness? I uh, I know sometimes the videos can be dark, and I don't want it to be dark for you guys. See the moats helping us out a lot, as you can tell. I can't believe we're still actually getting all the stuff. I got asked to do The Sims 3. They're totally random, I know. But since we got time, why not? Yeah, I got asked to do The Sims 3. And I don't know if I want to. Main reason is The Sims 4 comes out very soon. Sims 4 comes out in September. And I already have it pre-ordered. I'm already go I'm going to play it. I'm going to record with it. So I was wondering if you guys still wanted to want to see that. Okay, see, now we're getting full here. Let's see. Let's 
There's my chest. Here we go. Yeah. If you guys, if you guys really do want to see uh, some more new stuff, such as The Sims 3, I will. I have The Sims 3. It's one of I, lo I love The Sims. I've been playing it since the beginning. So I could do that. But like I said, The Sims 4 is right around the corner. I'm going to be doing the videos in day one. And every expansion pack that comes out, I'll also be getting as soon as possible. So I'm really psyched. Uh, the Sims 4 looks very clean. looks really good. The motions and everything. So much better than they've worked on it in a while. I mean, The Sims 3 has been out for qu quite a bit. I think like 2008, 2007. I may be wrong, but it's, it's been out for a good minute. Right, we're still good on our pack here. We have plenty more dust to go. And nothing's burning yet, as so I know it's not daytime. So we should get plenty of resources to start off with here. I think as soon as it's daytime, I will. I will be. Um, eh, hold up. Okay, so we got salt. Next one's rotten flesh, which we'll get as soon as daytime comes around. Let's see what else we get to. You can't do that yet. You can't do that yet. So, as of right now, I can't do anything. So I'm seething through this. And, uh, yeah. I think uh, this is daytime comes around. I'm gonna end this episode and come back to you guys after I finish sieving all this dust. Depending if I get it done before night daytime or not, which I doubt it. Got yeah, enough for three pieces of stone. Which is a start some half slabs. We need three more. There's a lot of mobs out there. So like the scariest mobs in this, in my opinion, they either be Endermen, because you know they're just so strong, and then the mini zombies. The mini zombies, because they don't burn during the day, and they're super quick. They're really small, so their hitbox is tiny. They're just overall an epic pain in the arse. The arse, I said it. I'm trying to keep it PG. the weekend for me guys so you know that's always good the weekend's awesome and so I'm gonna get a lot of videos done this weekend uh, I try to do as many possible during the weekend because then I because of work I don't have to be up or something uh, for during the week and do them so if you guys like sometimes comment on a video you want me to do next I mean it's still possible but if like I don't know, there's a text message. Way to ruin my way to ruin my recording. I think there's a Dauntless from my uh, server play. If you guys remember him. I think my Oh, it's daytime. And I think uh my yeah, my camo pack just ran out of water, so that's not good. Not good at all. Put that back on there, and we'll see how we fare it out on here. Let me quit my rifle for these spiders here. Yeah, 
See, that's all you gotta do. And they don't bother you anymore. Alright, here we go. Some zombie flesh. Zombie flesh. I'm really looking for bones, mainly. I okay, guess a creeper. No bones. Ugh. That's no bueno. Oh well. I need string too, so. And I don't want these spiders making all that noise all the time. There we go. Sweet. Now that we have that finished, I'm going to end off the episode. As you can see, we survived day one. It's awesome. I will come back to you next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, Like it if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more, of course. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Cheers.